former military head of state, General Yakubu Gowan, has praised the exemplary the conciliatory position demonstrated by the former president, Gulok Jonathan, and the success of the former president, Buhari, during the 2015 presidential election. In a video recently shared on YouTube by Channel TV, Gowan lauded Jonathan's noble statement. My ambition is not worth the blood of any Nigerian. Emphasizing his gracious secession over before, even before the final election results were announced, he said this had significantly lowered the political temperature, ensuring a successful inauguration and setting a positive example for Nigerian politicians. Gowan concluded by urging leaders to emulate this spirit of reconciliation, placing the nation's unity above personal ambition. In Gowan's, in Yakubu Gowan's words, Jonathan said, my ambition is not worth the blood of any Nigerian, and graciously considered defeat even before the final results were announced. Wari was visibly appreciative of that statement, which indeed lowered the political temp temperature at the time, and of course, we were able to have a successful inauguration. After that, this is a good example for all Nigerian politicians and leaders to emulate. Well, I don't understand what is trying to drive here, but uh, I believe Gulok Jonathan, you know, he's a man to emulate. You understand? Uh, people who have conscience, we always do that. Anybody will not get conscience, you know, they care. He know, he understood the gravity of what is coming. If he, he, if he say no, this cannot be right. And when you look at the whole scenario, what, how, how, do you, how do you think this will even be possible? That man tried. You understand? He do not want problem. He have already seen that problem, the problem has already been cooked, ready to serve. So he patiently leave the, the seat. But you know that. That is one of the biggest mistakes he ever made. Yes. Share Nigerians go talk, say, or die, not die. Anyhow, when you take that, now death be won't. You understand? When you look at the scenario of that election, you can as well understand what cooked. The biggest mistake, Nigerians are still, you know, calling him out for that single mistake he did by leaving, you know, office. Last, last, those people when one make trouble, you arrest them. Abi, now some Nigerians, they talk. They say, you know, try. But Nigerians don't they ask this question. Who in Nigeria now go feed do waiting Jonathan do? Uh, Jonathan did. Among these politicians, who talk say, any way now way, you, you grab power, now power be that. You, you drag and carry and run all way now way. Can they ever do that? Okay. Nigerians don't talk it for this matter. Maybe here waiting then don't they talk. But Tinubu Ashiweju says, it is my turn. People blood can be shed, he does not care. Good point, but did you tell Buhari of this incompetence as a leader? There is no point telling Buhari of, of his incompetence because he himself knows that. Why that is why he apologized before leaving. That is why. They do, they do it, then do. Okay, but wait, till. you know, say you know, go feed, do something. Why you come? I don't understand. You just want to answer the name. Even when you know, say, even when you know, say, this thing, I know they feed, they meet up. Why can't you step down? What is wrong with African leaders that they know they agree step down? Even with their mistakes being shown, they are seeing their mistakes. When you know, say, this thing, I know feed, do one. They go won't die with the power. They have forgotten that power is transit. Somebody was there before you came home. And somebody is still going to be there when you leave. Why can't we be nice? Why can't we why can't us be nice? We not feel day nice. 
We feel say power now be the last thing. Now do or die. So person go come laugh, you say, you know, you know they feel they meet up. Now that time, now they go celebrate you. The world celebrating Jonathan today because of that singular thing he did. By not arguing with anybody, he left the seat. But Nigerians are still saying that that is the worst mistake he has made that is causing Nigerians today. So you see, Nigerians, they talk, say, life not balance, and our true, true, in not the balance. I wish he would have said for this country to progress, we fight for it and grab it and run with it. As at all costs, he would have hand over to military so that they would dealt with Buhari and his terrorist brothers. That statement made Jonathan look weak and it has cost us more than what would have would have happened. Look at where we are today because of Buhari and ABC misery. They hear with the Nigerians they talk. Can they not do the same? You don't care about human life. All of you. You do, all you do is kill innocent people because of power. I better make you go sit down. <laughs> well, let me stop taking uh, reactions because I'm saying so many insults here. So guys, what's your take on this? Uh, kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. If you are just joining us, subscribe. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.